column construction mistakes what are the mistakes or what are the errors you do during the construction it is very important to do the construction of column correctly because column is the one of the most important element in a structure failure for column will cause or could cause collapse of the whole structure not like beam if beam is failed the part of the structure could fail but column fail there is a possibility of failing what structure with the progressive collapse therefore we have to do the construction of columns correctly let's see what are the issues we identify we should attend during the construction of columns as you can see in this figure there is no adequate gap between reinforcement bars to place the beam reinforcement the two bars like 32 mm bars yes 32 mm bars placed closely and there is no space to run the beam reinforcement when you do the detailing when you do the design you have to consider construction requirement so if you do the detailing correctly it should reflect at the site during the construction we should be able to do the construction correctly therefore this situation should be handled the constructible detailing should be prepared poor compaction as you can see here there are cavities or there are holes or uncompacted concrete in the column there are bleeding on bleeding also there but you can see here the poorly compacted column this could affect the strength and the durability of the concrete columns therefore we shall do the compaction of column correctly as you can see here this figure the column is split into several parts this could be due to the low strength of the concrete so as you can see here there are some cavities voids also there this could cause due to the low compaction also in addition when you look at this when you see this edge it seems the concrete column could not have or could not reach its required strength or this could be due to the issues in the composition or the low grade concrete may have been poured into the column inadequate cleaning before concreting when you do the reinforcement of the slabs there will be foreign materials collected on the floor those material when you clean they will be collected at the column heads because when you push the compressed air into remove those or when you do by other means these foreign material will be collected at the column heads or the beam column joint so if we don't remove them this situation will arise so you can see in this figure the foreign material something like sawdust is collected there so a layer of sawdust will be there so with that this column will be separated from the lower part and top part as you can see here this could be the sawdust layers are collected there it's a very critical situation there could be a bit of failure in the columns if this sawdust layer continue toward the center of the columns so we have to we have to clean this sawdust and the, do the treatment or the this column the weak sawdust we the concrete the concrete that mix with the sawdust has to be replaced with the fresh concrete you may use the non seed constructor from grout for this purpose this figure shows the worst case of the previous we discussed now you can see here fairly thick layer of foreign material or the impurities are collected here in in this case you can see here in this figure the whole section has to be clean so the there's no concrete in this so that is because this is whole area has filled with the impurities or the foreign materials it's not the fresh concrete it's not the good concrete therefore it is very important you might not need notice those things if this area is covered outside with the concrete and the foreign material collected inside some day when you when the loads are applied this column could this column could fail it could lead to failure of the whole structure therefore this kind of situations you should handle very carefully when you do the construction when you do the slab construction you you have to keep in mind to clean the beam column joints very very you you should keep in mind to clean the beam column joint very carefully all the impurities or the foreign material shall be removed from this 
column joint. There are some cracks formed in the beam column joint that could be due to the previously discussed reason that is collecting foreign materials there or else this could be due to the low grade concrete collected here that is because now when you do the construction of columns now we don't continue this to the throughout the column so sometimes we do the concrete up to certain level then after that we do the next stage with the floor slab in that case in that case we have to remove the top grout layer in the concrete columns that could be about one inch maybe half an inch this foreign or the leak grout layer has to be removed by chipping if you don't remove these layers due to the low strength in this layer when the loads are applied this grout layer may crash therefore the correct construction practices should be followed during construction of columns this is formation of a honeycomb in a concrete column this could be due to the poor compaction or reinforcement congestion during the construction and during the detailing we have to be careful and we should do pay our attention to the reinforcement arrangement there are, whether there are gaps to flow the concrete those things we have to consider in addition during the compacting compacting of the columns special attention shall be made to the beam column joint here you can see a separation in the beam column joint this could also be due to the foreign material collected there and also you can see a conduit place in the column is not acceptable it could lead to failure and the durability issues of the concrete column in this figure you can see a column has damaged to run the services the services came from this way need to run this direction what they have done is they have removed the concrete in the columns this is unacceptable thing and this is this could be due to the poor inspection and poor, poor process this shall be done under supervision of the structural engineer or civil engineer but this this could have not referred to him the service engineer or service service or the insulation team could have done this damage these kind of situations could lead to failure of the structure especially in the critical members when the column is very critically loaded this kind of a thing could fail to the could lead to the failure of the column therefore these these situations shall be avoided in the construction there should be mechanism to avoid these kind of situations formation of honeycombs as you can see here due to the honeycomb this column concreting has removed the surface area has removed this column also the surface has area has removed to retreat so the poor construction work could have lead to this so therefore you have to, when you do the construction work you have to be careful and you shall avoid the formation of honeycombs in addition to the construction issues there are other issues to the form the honeycombs like low workability reinforcement conditions those things also we have to consider when you do the detailing or when you do the design so not only construction uh, design the team also should be responsible for this kind of a situations therefore the construction and design team should work together when you do the construction of heavily conjunction columns but in this case this is not heavily conjunction column this is kind of a construction issue therefore uh, these situations should be handled very carefully with that we end today discussion today we discuss about column construction issues what are the mistakes we made during the construction columns what are the things we need to attend in construction of the reinforced concrete columns let's meet again from new video